a very good morning dear students let us start our social science class dear students today let us start a new chapter it is from part of geography chapter 17 motions of the earth motions of the earth in the ancient time and all the people they believed that the earth is it is the stationary it is not moving but the heavenly bodies or the other objects it is moving but now we know the earth it is not the stationary the earth it is moving around its axis from west to east the earth it is moving around its axis from west to east and we can say we know this as the sun seems to move in the sky from east to west every day and when we are saying that the moving train and all when we are fast when we are going to the moving train and all we can see the objects the outside the objects the trees and the uh, and the telephone poles and all it is moving fast opposite direction and from there we can understand it is not the uh, objects what we are seeing out it is moving but the train it is moving the same way we can say that the earth it is moving not the sun it is moving and we can uh, study here what is the rotation orbits and the revolution the rotation space we can say the movement of the earth on its axis that is called the rotation already we studied what is the axis the axis is an imaginary line it is passing from north pole to south pole and the rotation also it is the movement the earth it is moving around its axis only around its axis that is called the rotation the rotation is the movement of the earth around its axis that is called the rotation and we can see what is the revolution already we told that the rotation it is the uh, movement of the earth around its axis same way the earth it is moving around the sun the earth it is moving around the sun that is called the revolution and we can see what is the orbit the orbit is the already we told that the earth is moving around the sun in a fixed path there is the fixed path that is called that fixed path is called the orbit so i think it is clear for you what is the rotation the rotation is the movement of the earth around its axis it is called the rotation and the orbit means the earth it is moving around around the sun in a fixed path that fixed path it is called the orbit and the revolution it is the earth it is moving around the sun that is called the revolution so next we can discuss about the rotations of the earth what is the rotation of the earth as i told the spinning of the earth around its axis it is called the rotation and we can see the earth is tilted on its axis the earth it is tilted on its axis the earth is tilted on its axis the north pole and the south pole and the earth it is tilted in this axis and again we can see the the rotation it is dividing the earth into light and half and the dark and half when the rotation is happening the earth it is dividing into light and half the we know that the sun rises it is coming and the sun rises where it is setting it is the light and half and here it is the dark and half this the earth it is dividing the rotation it is dividing the earth into two half the light and half and the dark and half and we can see what is the uh, circle of the illumination that is the circle that separates the dark part from the light and part is known as the circle of the illumination the light and part the circle which is separating the dark part it is separating the light and part this circle is known as the circle of the illumination the circle which is separating the light and part from the dark and part is known as the circle of the illumination and again we can see the we know the earth was not inclined on its axis and the sun rises were vertical if the earth is not uh, inclined in the axis means what will happen the sun rises it will be coming vertically and all the places of the earth would have day and night of the equal duration and we can see all the places of the uh, earth it will be having the equal duration of the day and the night if the sun it is not inclined in its axis and again we can say that the sides of the earth that 
faces the sun or the light and constantly it is having the heat and after the midday the places begin to turn away from the sun we know the midday after the midday what will happen the uh, places it is moving away from the sun and it is happening the temperature between the the day and the night it is it will be very moderate very moderate and the midday we are experiencing the hot and the when the after the midday it is the places where it is moving away from the sun we are experiencing the very moderate and again we can see the earth it moves in space in two distinct ways already first we told it rotates on its axis from the west to east it once in a 24 hours the earth it is moving uh, around its axis within 24 hours and we are getting the day and the night and the secondly we can see and also it is it is revolves around around the sun in an orbit causing the seasons and the year and already i told that the earth it is uh, around the around the sun and it is causing the seasons and the year when the earth it is rounding around the sun that that time we can say it is causing the seasons and the years and we can say the morning and the evening the rays of the sun are slanting in a uh, in a very large area so there is the lesser heat during this time compared to the noon compared to the noon we know the morning and the evening it is having the lesser heat because why because of the sun rays it, it is landing in the large area and we are experiencing the lesser heat and in the noon we can see the sun rays it is vertically over a small area so uh, they make the area very hot so we are getting the morning and the evening the sun rays it is landing and we are getting the uh, the moderate climate or we are experiencing the lesser heat and the noon we are experiencing the uh, very hot because of the sun rays it is coming vertically and next we can discuss about the revolutions of the earth and already we have seen that the earth it is rotating around its axis the same way the earth it is rotating around the sun we can see here the same way the earth it is rounding on its axis the same way the earth it is rounding uh, rounding around the sun and we can see the uh, when the earth it is rounding around the sun we can see a fixed path it is rounding a fixed path this fixed path it is called the orbit already we have studied the fixed path it is called the orbit and again we can see the year it is completing its revolution in one year within one year and it is taking place the 365 by 4 days 365 by 4 days it is taking and one year it is taking one year to round the sun the earth it is taking one year to take to round the sun and again we can see the distances between the sun and the earth it is varies from the minimum of 147 million kilometer and the maximum we can see it is the 152 kilometers and also we can see the distances between the earth and the sun it will be having 149.5 149.5 million kilometer the earth and the sun the distance we can see it is the 149.5 million kilometers and also we can see the position when the earth it happens to be closest to the sun it is called the perihelion the what is the perihelion The perihelion means the we can see the position of the earth it is happening close to the sun it is called the perihelion and we can see what is the aphelion the aphelion means it is the position of the sun away from the uh, the position of the earth it is away from the sun the distances the farthest distances between the sun and the earth it is called the aphelion The perihelion it meets the earth and the sun it is near to the earth and sun it is called the perihelion and the 
distances we can find it is the furthest distances it is the from the sun and the earth it is called the aphelion so i think it is an, uh, it is clear for you about the uh, rotations of the earth and the revolutions of the earth and in next class we will discuss about the phenomenon of the season